Hey guys, today we are going to explore Gorilla Falls and you can hear my children arguing over recycling in the background. But we're gonna go check out Gorilla Falls because this is one of the walking trails and this is a good way to kill time between fast passes here in Animal Kingdom. So let's go check it out. It's so nice in here, and there's a clear designated path, one way in and one way out. It's just a big loop around. It's right next to the safari. So if you have time to kill before the safari, perfect place to go in. They are still arguing over whether or not a spoon was recycling or not. This is craziness. Oh, teenagers. talking about us like that, I'd really appreciate it. Ooh, it looks like you can use your Play Disney Parks app with this. Let's, ooh, I'm getting it out. And because this is, um, there are animals, this is a nature trail, they do ask that there is no eating. And also, this trail does close kind of early. It does close at 4.30 p.m., even when, though the park's open until like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. And it looks like for the Gorilla Falls Disney Play app, it's a game. It looks like it lasts about 35 minutes and you journey into a lush tropical forest inhabited by native African wildlife, including gorillas, hippos, and exotic birds. And I'm not sure what kind of game it is yet. So this is super cool. So you kind of have to like stop along the way. So you have to start this at the very beginning because it'll tell you places. So you would have to find this sign at the very beginning and it asks you questions that are on the sign and you have to answer it. So we've already passed this. So I'm already failing this. We'll have to play this another day. <laughs> is it in the, all the way inside? Yeah, like. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Oh my gosh, extreme close up. Sorry for the shaking. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but inside there, oh, there he is. You can see him. That's the baby. There's a baby and a mommy. Oh my gosh, how cute. He looks awfully big to be a baby. <laughs> the baby, the baby's behind that one. Oh, <laughs> never mind, I'm an idiot. You can't see the baby at all. Oh, and then you can literally walk right up and mom's peeing. Awesome. Well, that's what happens in nature. But look at the baby, he's so cute. Yes, she more than five feet from her mom or her aunt. Oh my gosh, adorable. She's still so young. She gets scared. If they don't follow her, she'll run down. And they also have an Okapi. Don't touch the butt. Apparently he wants nothing to do with us. It must be feeding time though, because he's eating. Oh, there he is. Hi, guy. Half zebra, half horse. And he has a... Oh no, he's part... What is he? Part zebra, part horse, part zebra, part giraffe, Bri? Hello? Part giraffe on the. What? Oh, he's, God, it what? has a giraffe tongue. Part zebra, part giraffe? Is that yeah, what they it's, are? Yeah, it's literally the in between. Yeah, he's a giraffe. Did you just see that tongue? It's probably in the video. Woo! I know, they're crazy. They're cool looking. And one really cool thing is they have a lot of signs um, and a lot of like hands-on stuff where they have like an okapi skull and a giraffe skull and they have just signs that have a lot of the differences and similarities between the two so that you can see how they compare, um, how they relate as in the family of species. So it is very busy in here, but they have a lot of insects and like reptiles and stuff in here. Um, all the drawers will have different skulls and um, like preserved insects and stuff so you can compare all the different. It's really busy in here, so we're just hopping right on through. And then you head out into the bird sanctuary. And they do have bird spotting guides and I love it in here. So that one down there is a speckled mouse bird. There. All right. Gotta find me four of them. All right. Can you Take off your left. 
don't know if you can tell, but there's a hippo right there. Pretty cool, huh? Come on, hippo boy. Here's the proof. And it's just so well decorated. I mean, it's just a nice, beautifully decorated path. It's just, there's a lot of shade, and it just, it looks actually quite magical right now with the way the sun's hitting it. I mean, look at that glare. It's just glorious. And now we're coming into oh, the meerkats. Holy cow, there's a lot of people in here. I've never seen this many people in here, ever. Looks like the zebras are out, and it's too funny. We're staring at the zebras, the zebras are staring at us. They're like, what are these creatures? That one looks awfully small. That one has to be a young a baby or like a young one. There's no way it's not. It's so small. Did they have a baby zebra here? Hmm. I'm going to have to look into this. But they are so fascinated. They're so cute. I like them. And below the zebras is the meerkat sanctuary. I don't see. Oh, there's one. Oh, wait, I can't zoom in. It won't zoom in. He's by the basket. There he is. Oh, look, there's another one. As one goes in and one comes out. Oh, I see meerkat butt. Wait. Oh, I was not filming it. There it is. It's like a cat. Because they are cats, aren't they? Yeah. You know why? Oh, that makes He's so cute. Oh, he smells He's so tiny. Where's he going? What's he doing? And he's gone. I can't see him anymore. Look at him run. Run, Timon, run. Oh, there's two. Oh, he's on. All right, now we're on our way out of the zebra and meerkat sanctuary and into... I believe this is the start of the gorillas. Oh yes, look, you can see the Wilderness Explorer gorilla picture. So this is the start of the Lowlands Gorilla Exhibit. And last time I was in here, there was a baby and he was so cute. So I'm hoping he's still out. There's a sleeping gorilla. He's out. Ooh, this tree's growing. Watch your head if you're tall. And then we come on to the bridge. And this is where we head into the lowlands and this is like the big gorilla habitat. And this is where you really gotta keep your eyes peeled because they'll, they'll be all over the place out here. Oh, like there's one way up there. The juveniles are just running around out here. It's really nice out here. I love this part. So you can just kind of see the roof right over there. That's where we were just observing the gorillas. And this is kind of the back side of that. They have free roam on both sides of the hill. So sometimes you'll see them on that side through the glass and sometimes they'll be over here and you can see them from this side. There is a river down here because on that side of the bridge, there is a separate family. <laughs> family of gorillas that lives on this side um, and they are kept separate. You can just kind of see them right up there. That's one of the juvenile ones. That's one of their, they're teenagers now. They're four years old. They're considered juveniles. They're no longer, they don't do toddlers for gorillas. They're babies and then they're juveniles. And he's just chilling up on the hill, putzing around, minding his own business. Gosh, it's a beautiful day out today trying to see him hoping he'll come out so we can actually see him oh, there he comes here he comes there he is oh he's awesome oh it's awesome oh he knows look at him look at him strutting for us Oh, oh, look, he even clapped. Oh, he knows. He is such, oh. He's... And then coming out of the lowlands, you go through this awesome little cave. Ooh, echo, echo, echo. And then you see the mist. 
And right outside is this absolutely beautiful little waterfall. It's gorgeous. And we're almost out. This is about the end of it because these are the colobus monkeys that when you first come in you see and now we're on the back side as you can see by the monkey butt. Uh, <laughs> you pass the back side of the enclosure on your way out. And again they just have a little plaque with just some information on the colobus monkey. And then the path just goes on out and again it's just a beautiful path and for as busy as it was it's a quiet path. A nice, peaceful, quiet path, except for these two who argued through half of it. And they even have a little natural bench they made here. So nice. And then they have the people counter. Look, Jeremy's even showcasing how comfortable it is. And um, then you head on back out into Harambi. All right, so that's gonna do it for our quick little trip through the Gorilla Falls Explorer Trail. It takes about 30 minutes. Um, it's an awesome little trek. Definitely, definitely a must do here at Animal Kingdom. So if you like these videos, please click that subscribe button. And now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys.